Hi, my name is Cemo and this is Christina and we are studying energy technology at Albuquerque University. Uh, we would like to tell you about our education. What we got here behind me is uh, an echo racer, uh, which is one of the projects that the students are working on. This echo racer is going to the annual race, uh, where the goal is to produce a vehicle that drives the longest on the amount of energy that corresponds to one liter of gasoline. One of the ways that the students behind this project has made the vehicle more energy efficient is by reducing the drag. They have done that by making a lot of aerodynamic calculations and analyzing the shape of the car in a wind tunnel where the airstream has been followed by lasers and thereby they have found out how the shape should be modified in order to reduce the drag and thereby the energy consumption. This car runs on hydrogen, which is converted into electricity by the fuel cell. The electricity is then used to run the electric motor located at the front wheel. One of the reasons why fuel cells are interesting is because they will be one of the main energy sources in the future. This is also why it's a big area of research at the Ulbrich University. To make the car even more energy efficient, the velocity of the car is controlled by use of both hardware and software in order to make sure that the energy is used as efficient as possible. Also, the acceleration is controlled to get a smooth startup, which saves more energy. This is of course not the only project that the students are working on at Energy Technology. Uh, another example is control of a Segway. Christine has been working on modeling a power plant and I have been working on implementation of control strategies for a go-kart. In order to do such projects, we work together in groups and we collaborate in order to finish the projects each semester. There are great opportunities to find a student job. But another way of entering the energy business before you graduate and to get some good contacts is to write your project in cooperation with one of the many companies that are located here at Energy Technology. I myself have found this very interesting and useful. We shouldn't forget about the lectures where we learn about the energy systems of the future. There we're taught about the alternatives to fossil fuel such as beauties and wind energy. Additionally, we learn about wave energy and look into hydraulic systems that can be used to harvest this energy. We also learn about high voltage systems and look at the power system on a macro level. The lectures are usually followed by work in the laboratory. Well, enough of that. Should we see if the Eco Racer can run?